another company. Our founder, Jonah Gutenberg, has a vision. A vision of a better world. We've all seen that. <laughs> Not just a social economic problem, the divide between the haves and the have-nots. No, it was bigger. Crops were failing, sea levels rising, droughts, Floods, storms, our world was dying. Project Resolve designed not as a band-aid, but as a cure. With every launch, the integrity of our atmosphere is being strengthened. With every rocket's payload, our world is being reseeded for future generations. Jonah used his considerable influence to bring together world leaders and corporations to create the Kyoto Accord. No longer could the environmental changes be ignored. Many even deemed it too late. But Jonah had an idea, and using his company's extensive resources, he'd already prototyped what would become Project Resolve. And that's why you're here, to make a difference. That's why Creo's here. That's why we're all here, to make a dream reality. Not just for us, but for our children, and for our children's children. Believe it or not, but I just had the incredible honor of meeting Jonah Gutenberg, founder of Creo. That was an amazing experience. I mean, you already know that Creo is not just another company. A better world. We've all seen what has happened during our lifetime. This is not the future. Connection failure. Rerouting. Manual link established. Welcome to main production. Worker number. Database error. Let me show you around. Now, how may I help you? Let me show you around. Seems you've got a screw loose somewhere. Thanks for your concern. Error. No loose screws found. Right. So... where is everybody? Unable to initiate link to CreoNet. No data available. Fabulous. Then where's operations? Information unavailable. Time to get to work. Let me show you the way. Terms of use and license agreement. How may I be of service? Uh, provided by Creo. I'd like to help. I'd like to help. I'd like to... Please, hold the line.
Welcome. This unit is currently running on emergency power. Services are limited at the moment. We have services are currently limited. This unit is not fully functional. Have a nice day, Warren. Have a nice day. Warren. Services are currently limited. Services are currently limited. Hello. Please no threat level elevated. No admittance at this time.
Help. Please. Anyone there? I'm locked in here. Please, come on, help me. Thanks, man. I thought I was stuck in here for good. Come on. Say something. You okay in there? I appreciate it, really. Thought I was gonna starve in here. Don't know how much longer I would have lasted. You know what's going on around here? You mean all this crap? No idea, man. Way above my pay grade. Something hit the system hard, that's for sure. Melted my damn neural link. It was like I was... tripping and... In someone else's head. Thoughts, memories, just... Not my own. Some weird shit going down, that's... That's all I know. So tell me, what's your story? Name's Davey, man. I work on the Shell production line. Ran in here when those freaks started showing up. Didn't realize for hours the door was busted and I was stuck. Don't even know how long I've been in here. So, what are you gonna do now? Dunno, man. Not staying out here, that's for damn sure. Maybe ops? Should be safe, right? So long. Later. How much time has passed? Minutes? Hours? Days? This place is falling apart. I'm falling apart. I was told it wouldn't hurt. That the whole thing would be over in just a couple of minutes. But the pain when it started... I was awake. It cut open my flesh. Pierced into my bones. I can still hear the machines. Feel them. And I screamed, just screamed until there was no air left in my lungs, but it didn't stop. It didn't stop.
She said I should get to the executive level. Come back any time. Security forces have it locked down, but it's the getting there that's the problem. She said things will soon be under control, and they've asked for external aid. It, it tells you how serious things have gotten if they've called for outside help. But you know what? It's fine. If they've got everything under control, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them. It's terrifying enough listening to the noises, let alone being out there. I'm safe here. I'm a fucking statue here. Can't move a thing. Can you power it up and jumpstart me? Fail safe protocol active. Log mark 96 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Automatic system wide reboot begun. Data loss analysis. Most Creo systems damaged. 27% of data storage and processing systems report complete data and record loss, with low chance of recovery. Local non-networked power supplies remain operational. Recovery protocols activated. Damaged data sectors attempting temporary repair using analogous systems. Collateral loss of workforce is rated as extreme. Overall work output efficiency remains severely impaired, with all functioning personnel-related systems reporting significant neurological deviation and physical degradation. Functioning implants and rigs should be collected for refurbishment and redistribution to fully functioning human assets. Please, man! Please, man, I'm trapped! Just a jump start, man. Oh, damn, thank you. Been sitting here so long, my ass is numb. I can't count how many times I've had to play dead out here. Nearly pissed my pants a couple of times. Uh, I'm Hobbs, Dean Hobbs. Uh, no, no one calls me Dean, so, you know, Hobbs is fine. Guess you've got no idea what's going on around here. Oh, shit, man. I don't know nothing. Felt like my brain was an egg on a griddle and then the yolk popped. <laughs> Woke up. Head ringing like crazy. Everything had just gone to hell. Wanted to check the failsafe consoles. See what they recorded. Got separated from my crew, but I thought, Hobbs, don't give up now. You can make it. And that's when my rig gave out. What are you doing down here? Well, just being me. I mean, I'm maintenance. I sh should have left this stuff to security. But I thought, hey, Hobbs, let's find out what's going on here. Stupid, man. Just stupid. What I've seen since then. Uh, man, you wouldn't believe it. What's your plan? I'm gonna get my ass out of here before it gets mashed like a bug in a windshield. Think I'll head up to Ops. We should be all right there. What's the deal with these failsafe consoles? Well, Creo's got a few around the factory to monitor problems and record them. There's sure to be some crazy stuff on them with all that's going down. And check them out if you want, but my adventuring days are done. So long, Hobbs. Stay safe, man. Stay safe.
nothing to worry. I'm glad you're okay. Will you finally tell me who you are? Sally. I'm Sally. Medical staff assigned to the Executive Forum. I'm isolated up here. Stuck, to be exact. Just trying my best to figure out how I can help. What the hell's going on here? There was some kind of incident, that's all I know. Hardly anything is working and your area is in lockdown. I'm trapped up in the Executive Forum. There's loads of distress beacons. But you're the only person I've managed to contact. We have to do something. Fine. I hope this qualifies for hazard pay. Okay then. We need to find out what happened. And we won't if we just stay here. We're in this together. And like it or not, we're on our own. At least for the time being. What's wrong with Davy? He's a meh. His biometrics are all over the place. Plus, he's still in shock. Keeps mumbling that he needs his meds, but I can't find reference to them in his file. What about Hobbs? Did you talk? Hard to believe he didn't get more than a few scratches after what he must have gone through. He lost friends out there. One was killed right in front of him. I can't imagine how he must feel. You tried calling for help? The system's locked down. There's no way I know to contact anybody outside. And it seems most comms are out apart from the ops. I better get going. Be careful out there.